we want to simplify the given complex fraction, where a complex fraction is a fraction where the numerator and denominator also contain fractions. And we'll look at two methods for simplifying a complex fraction. So beginning with the given complex fraction, for method one, we simplify the numerator and denominator if possible. In this case, though, notice how we cannot simplify the fraction on top or simplify the fraction on the bottom. So we go to step two, which is to write the complex fraction as a division problem. Remember, a fraction bar means division. So because this fraction bar means division, we can write this complex fraction as the fraction on top divided by the fraction on the bottom. And we know dividing by this fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. And therefore, we'll now write this division problem as a product, where the first fraction stays the same. And then instead of dividing by this fraction, we multiply by the reciprocal. So we'd have times x divided by the quantity x minus six. Before multiplying, notice how we have a common factor of x between the numerator and denominator, which would simplify to one. So now multiplying, we have a numerator of x plus three and a denominator of x minus six. This is the simplified form of the complex fraction. Remember to enter this correctly though, we should use the equation tool called MathQuill or from the keyboard, we would have to include parentheses around the numerator and denominator. So we enter this as in parentheses x plus three divided by in parentheses x minus six. This is why it's important to always use the preview button before submitting your answer. Now let's also simplify this using method two. So beginning with the original complex fraction again, the second method is to find the least common denominator of the fractions in the numerator and denominator. In this case, it's pretty straightforward because notice how the fraction on top has a denominator of x and the fraction on the bottom also has a denominator of x. And therefore, the least common denominator is x and therefore for step two, we multiply the numerator and denominator by the LCD. So we're going to multiply this entire complex fraction by a factor of x in the numerator and by a factor of x in the denominator. Remember, we know from working with fractions, this will give us an equivalent fraction. Now multiplying on top, we can think of this as x over one if that's helpful. Notice how again we have a factor of x in the numerator, a factor of x in the denominator, which would simplify to one. So multiplying on top this simplifies to a factor of x plus three. Now multiplying on the bottom, the same thing happens. We can think of this x as x over one. We have a common factor of x between the numerator and denominator, which once again simplifies to one, and therefore the product is just a factor of x minus six. So both methods give us the same simplified rational expression. I hope you found this helpful.